Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. How you doing? I'm all right. Good. You know, it's no surprise that drugs, stress, and watching too much boob tube, that's TV for you younger folks, lowers your intelligence. But you may be surprised to learn what others things numb the mind and dull the senses, your good senses anyway. So let's find out what are the five common things that make you less intelligent. It's on this episode of Men Are So Smart. Hi there, welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. Today's episode, five common things that make you less intelligent. Like anybody today needs that. Mind numbing to stuff. <laughs> yeah. What's up first, Ronnie? So this first one, Google. Okay. I love me some Google. I know you do. Uh, research by Columbia University found that using Google affects our memory. Not necessarily if we remember things, but rather how we remember them. A an excerpt yeah. from the study titled, Google Effects on Memory, Cognitive Consequences of Having Information at Our Fingertips, yep. explains the advent of the internet with sophisticated algorithmic search engines has made accessing information as easy as lifting a finger. Yes, that's what I love about it. Uh, no longer do we have to make costly efforts to find things we want. The library. Or the library, or your own memory. Yeah. Uh, we can Google the old classmate, find articles online, or look up the actor who is on the tip of our tongue. Results uh, four studies suggest that when faced with difficult questions, people are primed to think about computers uh, and that when people expect to have future access to information, they have lower rates of recall of the information itself. Wow. Dang. Uh, yeah, you know, back in the day you'd say, what was the name of that actress who was in that movie? And the person would go, you know what? I can guarantee you, well, before the internet, every single Super Bowl I was working at the main jail, I had was working Sundays at the time, there was a fight. And it was a fight, who won last year's Super Bowl? Who was the MVP of last oh, year's Super Bowl? like in a trivia question. Yes, yeah. the inmates just talking among themselves, and, and then it starts an argument, and then there's a fight. Now, they could just go, hey officer, can you tell me who was the MVP last year? <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, Here's was, my phone. Yeah, it was uh, Peyton Manning. All right, next up on our list of common things that make you less intelligent, my friends, smartphones. They are a curse and a blessing. I think it just depends on how you use them. A study from a particular school of business at Austin found that study subjects whose smartphones were not in the room with them performed better on a variety of tasks testing their cognitive abilities than subjects who had their phones with them, either in their pocket, in a bag, or face up on a desk. The reason why might surprise you, here it comes. It's not that participants were distracted because they were getting notifications on their phones. Like you just did. I know, it just thought it won't stop. <laughs> the mere presence of their smartphone was enough to reduce their cognitive capacity. Hmm. This holds even true -er when the phone is turned off. We see a linear trend that suggests that as smartphone becomes more noticeable, Participants' available cognitive capacity decreases. Your conscious mind isn't thinking about your smartphone, but that process, the process of requiring yourself not to think about something, uses up some of your limited cognitive resources. Well, there you have it. This next one, eh, I don't know. I kinda, I'm gonna kinda believe it since my son was in one. A college fraternity. Mind numbing. Yep, yep. Brainwashing. Yep. Uh, being in a fraternity can lower your GPA by as much as a quarter of a percentage point. That brings me back to zero. Uh, <laughs> uh, one explanation offered for these findings is that students may be less capable of balancing their academic lives and the demands of fraternity social life. Um, kind of an animal house thing I, I think of right away. Yeah. Surprisingly, alcohol consumption, animal house... Uh, really only accounted for a two one hundredths of a point drop in GPA. This suggests that despite its visibility, uh, alcohol consumption plays a relatively minor role in the reduced academic achievement of fraternity members. 
On a positive note, being in a fraternity increases future income levels by approximately 36%. Wow. Uh, not in all cases. Uh, thus, it appears that the negative impact of fraternity membership on human capital accumulation is more than offset by its effect on the formation of social capital. The one thing to keep in mind is that this data came from one college, so the findings may have kind of semi-limited uh, validity. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know about that one, right? Yeah. I, I, I was never big on fraternities. Yeah, me neither. Or sorority girls. Uh, me neither. Uh, next up on our list of things that make you less intelligent, unhealthy diet. And you're saying, what the heck? <laughs> Poor diet habits can adversely affect cognitive performance. Research shows that high doses of sugar have a negative impact on your brain cells. According to sleep medicine specialist and neurologist Alan Togfi, having diabetes increases your risk of developing dementia, which is exactly what happened to my mother-in-law. But it's not just sugar you have to worry about. This other dude says, um, a diet high in both sugar and saturated fat can affect your brain. Mm, that's my favorite diet right he there. He says he used findings from a 2015 study that shows that obese kids perform more poorly on long-term memory tasks mm. who than kids who aren't obese. So that brings us to number one on our list of the things that make you less intelligent, Ronald. And it's dealing with men interacting with women. Huh. Mm -hmm. uh, interacting with women can make you stupid if you're a heterosexual male, that is. Uh, research suggests that cognitive performance diminishes when men interact with or even anticipate interacting with someone of the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. This was especially true when the man found uh, the woman highly attractive. Uh -huh. Even the most subtle form of exposure to a potential mate can diminish men's cognitive performance. Yeah. A uh, few possible explanations were offered. Um, although the exact processes that play a role in the cognitive impairment effect and to study it uh, in other groups and participants such as gay men. Hmm, that would be an interesting one. Cognitive performance diminished because they were trying to make a good impression. Uh, the men felt pressured by traditional sex roles. More cognitive control is required in interactions involving the opposite sex because people are more comfortable interacting with people of the same sex. You know what drives me nuts? I have a buddy, no names here. He is a big, burly, manly kind of man. He's got a manly kind of construction job. He drives a manly pickup truck. And when I go over to visit he and his wife's house, she has him wrapped around her oh, finger. Oh, boy. He goes, hey, Lou, you want to go out and walk to Chihuahua with me? <laughs> really? <laughs> a Chihuahua? <laughs> Men don't have Chihuahuas. Yes, that's You're exactly what I You're walking that dog for her. Right. Men will do stupid, stupid things for women. And it's funny because you look at him and you go, oh, yeah, that's a man's man right there. And right, then you see right. him with the wife, you go, mm. okay, going to have to rethink that one. Turn in your man card. Please. Yeah. All right. So in conclusion, Ronnie, to our episode today, it's hard to believe that simple everyday tasks such as the ones listed above impair our intelligence. But, and that's a big but. <laughs> I like big butts <laughs> but. and I cannot lie. No. Uh, but there are things... <laughs> <laughs> Parody's over, sorry. <laughs> but there are things we can do about. Uh, from watching what we eat to managing our addiction to technology, there are steps we can take to counteract these effects. I'm sorry. I just threw the whole article away. And I'm going to blame him. He made me laugh. It was him, not me. Don't. Stop it, Terry. <laughs> All right, we hope you've enjoyed and got a few laughs from today's show. We appreciate it. We're at the point in the show where we ask you to please consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, I think at last count we were at 547. Wow, nice. We really need to get to 1,000. Can you help us? Uh, like the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell. You get notifications each time a new one comes out. Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, uh, please don't forget that we have a PayPal account that we are trying to raise money for a trip to go and visit Mr. Forrest Fenn in Santa Fe, New Mexico. We're trying to raise $1,500. Anything that you might be able to donate would be of a big help to us and would be greatly appreciated. Yep. In fact, we read the names of the people who have donated money on our Sunday morning mass shows. Damn straight we do. Uh-huh. And uh, he's semi-famous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you can, if, if you're in a position where you can, please. By all means. $50, 100 150 If you can't, there's no pressure. Yes, please. Uh, we understand. Trust me. Uh, okay, so that'll do it. Uh, I'm Lou Gallagher. Corbett Ronnie. We'll see you on the next episode of Men Are So Smart. <laughs>